Yo, what's up guys? It's me again, Torgo Pro. Welcome to our video today. And I have a microphone here. Hmm, I hope this improves my audio. It just arrived and it's the first time I'm going to use it. So let's continue. This is all about having tabs into File Explorer in Windows 10. Because if you try to imagine you're trying to go through all the files in your computer, you're trying to locate something else, you need to go through each folder, minimize each one so that you can try to locate a file that takes a lot of time for you to search. Now with this trick or this tutorial that I'm going to show you, you will have tabs in this file explorer. This will be easier for you to locate a file or a folder if you are working in a Windows operating system environment. So I'm going to give you an overview of what we're going to do with these tabs. So I've already have this one enabled in my computer. So uh, here on the right pane, you can just open any folder you want, open a new tab, um, click here, open new tab. You can see it's lining up here. And if you are using a mouse, you can also click on the middle uh, wheel on that mouse and this will open it in a new tab. Uh, this PC, 3D objects, what else do we have? Downloads, documents, videos. And yeah, there you go. You have your tabs like web browsers, so it will be easier for you to navigate through this computer system. At the same time, the second thing that I like most here is this. If you try to go mouse over the icon of the folder, you can see that white color that is shaded there. You click here and this will give you a preview of what is inside this folder. So you can see I have another folder that is named GoPro and these are my GoPro shots. And if you do a mouse over here, it will give you a preview of what that video is. You can see this is my trip on the falls that I went through last week. And it's very easy for you to search for a file that you want to locate right away because you can have this overview right away. Now we can also go to the photos. Here you can see it like that. So it's easier to go through. And these are my uh, aerial shots. That's the falls that we went through. So that would be very, very cool if you can enable this one in your computer. Rather than going here, minimize, maximize, minimize, and maximize. Uh, I'll show you how you can install this one and activate it into your computer system. So of course we need to have the software. The link will be in the description below. Click that one and you will be directed here. You will see two versions. We have the 1038. That's the earlier version. We need to download that one and install it first. So open it and let's close that. Open. This will be a quick install because it's a lightweight program. Next. And next. There you go. So we need to log off from our computer and log back in. So exit, close. If you have already logged off and logged back in, you can go ahead and download the second version, or I mean, this is an update. So you cannot install the later version if you haven't installed the earlier version. So let's install this one. And then there you go, click install. Okay. And that's it. We're good to go. Let's go to this view on our file explorer and click here. You'll see QTT tab bar. Click that one and then it will be enabled. Let's try to open up some folders here. You can see they're starting to line up up there. There you go. So it's enabled. Now let's try to open other folders. Like what I've said, I'm just doing a right click, open a new tab. And uh, you can see a mouse over here and it's going to give you a preview of the data or the files, videos that we have here. Now there are other features on the QTT tab bar that you can enable, but uh, these are the two most useful things that I've seen using this QTT tab bar. The tabs that we can see there and the quick overview when doing a mouse over with these files. This is not only applicable with videos, applicable with uh, Word, document and photos. Now, uh, as we can see here, you can have more options if you want to, but it's up to you. 
Now, if you like this video and you have learned something from it, give it a thumbs up, share it to everybody. You drop a comment down below and hope to see you in my next video.